All right, well, it looks like summer is here. It's hot and it's probably hot in your house. You've got your air conditioning and your fans all cranked up and ready to go. How are they working? Is your home nice and cool? Well, you know, just like you have to change your clothes for the season, sometimes you have to do some things about your energy efficiency in your home to uh, reflect the seasons. Stay tuned because our guest today from New Jersey Natural Gas is gonna tell us how to maximize efficiency for our home air conditioners. Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Scan FYI. Um, what a great day we're having here in this heat. And speaking of heat, that brings me right to the air conditioner. I'm sitting here with my air conditioner and a fan because it's hot. So I'm sure everybody out there has got the same problem. But our guest today is going to help us um, take care of that. So our guest today is Tim Dollar from New Jersey Natural Gas. Hey, how are you, Tim? Hello, everybody. So, Tim, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what do you do at New Jersey Natural Gas? So I'm an energy auditor. Um, we go out, we do audits of people's homes to try to promote and explain and help people save money on their utility bills. All right. Well, first of all, who doesn't want to do that? I right. can't imagine not really not taking advantage of it. And I'm also thinking there's probably some people out there who don't even realize that someone like you exists, an energy auditor. So that is, so you, so you actually go to, and, and so what is an energy audit if somebody wanted to do that? So we have audits where, where we go to your home and we're going to look at your home. We're going to try to determine the construction of the home, the insulation values, the equipment type inside the home. Um, and then we're going to look for opportunities where people may be losing energy through uh, drafts, through insulation or lack of insulation, right. maybe inefficient equipment, you know, maybe water heaters that are, you know, out of date. And it's not always about putting in new, it's about, you know, possibly fixing things or upgrading or adding some additional insulation that can really benefit a homeowner. Um, the, one of the biggest advertisements you see on TV is for new windows. And we want people to try to reduce their drafts in their home, but your biggest drafts don't come from your windows. It comes from the openings, the gaps, the connections from your crawl space, your basement, your attic. Right. So those are the things we want people to try to target and look at and address and get your money back on your investment. That's us. That We're trying to help you out. But you know, the $10,000 window answer is not the answer we're trying to encourage. I think some people feel concerned that, oh, they're going to tell me I need a whole new, say, air conditioning unit. And, oh, it's going to be too expensive for me to afford. But clearly, that's not always the answer for people. You're talking about a lot of things that can be done at a reasonable price to, uh, you know, plug up the leaks and the drafts and the holes. Yeah, and, and a lot of that even though that directly equates to energy savings, the comfort, if we can keep the humidity, the ragweed, yeah. the pollen, the dust, the dander from all getting sucked into the house on those high humidity days, you're gonna breathe more comfortably. You're gonna be more comfortable with a lower temperature. So that humidity has a lot to do with it. But you know, if we can reduce those drafts, that's win-win from energy bills to comfort. So we're talking about this now and it's the summer and it's hot, but everything that we're talking about is also going to be uh, totally important for the, for the cold weather as well. So it's, even if you do it now, it's going to be more comfortable for the winter. Absolutely. And, and we have a lot of our customers with, with allergies. So you say from summer to winter, there's people that don't open their windows in spring and fall. They go right from heating to air conditioning and back to heating. They don't open the windows and let all the air flow through the house. So those drafts, reducing those drafts is a year round, not just two seasons, all four. All right, well, first of all, let me just remind everyone, you see there's a phone number up on the screen and that is the main number for Save Green. You can call them, uh, I, I would, to set up any kind of, uh, write your home audit, you can call them, they'll direct you to whom, whomever you need to speak to. So just pay attention to that number on the screen, 877-455-6564, up on the screen. So if somebody wants a home audit, 
And there, there is a very reasonable fee for that, correct? Correct. We have a $49 energy assessment where we go out to your home. Uh, of course, it's a scheduled time. So you set the time, the date with, with, our, with our scheduler, and we're going to be at your home. And we're going to uh, we're going to start off by giving you an energy savings kit. So the kit is going to have power strips in it that have motion sensors. So to reduce energy loss, we're going to have some LED light bulbs, some gaskets for outlets, some aerators for faucets to try to reduce the water usage and then a low flow shower head, some pipe wraps, so a whole bunch of little measures in a box to try to give you a kickstart. You know, give you a little bit of an introduction so that maybe you take another step beyond that. With that, we're going to gauge the home. So we're gonna walk around your home, we're gonna look at the equipment inside the home, we're gonna look at the ductwork in the home. It might be in an attic, a basement, a crawl space, or it might be living inside the living space of the home. Um, we're looking at the combustion efficiency of the equipment. We're looking at the safety of the equipment, making sure nothing is drafting back into a house. There's no levels of carbon monoxide in a home. We're going to test a gas oven. We're going to make sure people are safe. Uh, we're going to give you back a full energy report. Okay. Now, outside of COVID times, we would be running a blower door in your front door. So we would put a large blower in your front door, take the air from the house, suck it outside, and show you how drafty the house actually is. We have a thermal camera. Right now, we can still take our thermal camera. We can point it at your ceiling and show you where the big energy loss is, where you're missing insulation or where there's a big void. Um, but with the blower door, it truly shows the draft. Uh, when we get back to that, it'll be much better for the customer to see that part of it. Um, right now, you're just taking our word for it, but the blower door proves it. The It also shows exactly how much air leaks in and out of your home. The goal is not to fix every single leak. The goal is to fix the largest, most expensive leaks first that cost the least amount of money. So okay. yeah. return on investment. It's all about you know your dollars being you know put back in your pocket. The, I think that for $49, not only are you getting the audit, but you're getting a whole package of goodies to get you, as you said, kick-started to uh, make your house more efficient. And, and I feel like, you know, for me, the, the big takeaway is I will be more comfortable in my home. That's it. And, and then that, um, I'll breathe better and I'll sleep better and I'll, I'll just feel more comfortable. And who... We, we, yeah, we all want to save money on our bills. That is that is paramount. Given, you know, but lowering you our bills. But if I can sit there each day and breathe a little more comfortably, or even uh, without those drafts, I can now raise my temperature in the summertime. So if I normally keep it at say seventy four, I can raise it to seventy six because I don't have the humidity being sucked into the house as quickly. So I can raise my temperature and actually lower my bills and be as comfortable and be more comfortable. A question that just popped into my head. So of course you are from New Jersey Natural Gas, but what if someone has uh, all electric in their home? They're not using gas for heating or cooling. Could they still take advantage of this audit? So we'd have to have a customer as a New Jersey Natural Gas customer. Okay. You could have a, a stove, a water heater, but you'd have to have a gas appliance for us to come out to your home. Got it, okay. Um, but there are programs through the electric company as well that can try to promote the the, the measures as well. I'm not okay. sure exactly how involved you know your local utility is, but we, we try to step up and do the best for our customers. All right, because I think that would be a question that somebody might ask, but that makes sense. You need to be a customer of New Jersey Natural Gas. All right, so what about, tell me about smart thermostats, because obviously your, what thermostat you're using can make a difference. And right now we have smart thermostats uh, through our marketplace that can get a substantial discount off. So up to $150 off the price of the thermostat. So when we look at that $49 energy assessment, if you purchased a thermostat through our, our marketplace where you got $150 off, it ships directly to your house. You schedule the date of that audit. We'll install that thermostat for free. A smart thermostat is a thermostat that you can control from your phone. So if you have a smartphone, you have the ability to now raise and lower temperatures, control the home, 
you know, and, and look at a whole bunch of measures, but you also get a monthly report from your thermostat company. So if it's oh. Nest or Ecobee or whatever you choose to use for a thermostat, you get some nice feedback, some run times, the temperatures, you can start to see, you start to see the aggregate data where it really starts to hit home maybe where you're using energy when you shouldn't be. Um, so setbacks is important, trying to lower your temperatures when you don't need to. The, the thermostats, they have the sensing capability on some of them to know when in your home, when you're not home, to start to try to figure out and adjust the temperatures for you. Or you can keep it simple, but you know they give the ability to control the home from another location. Well, everything is getting smart these days, so it makes sense that our thermostat would get smart too. I love that idea. Yeah. I love that idea. I, re I really do. So do you have any, if somebody winds up needing a new air conditioner, that's the worst case scenario, I guess, a whole new system, but do you have incentives for people to purchase? Yes. Yeah, so we have, we have financing for customers. So we have 0% financing. If you were going to look at replacing your heating system, your cooling system, um, maybe a boiler, a water heater. If you do a gas appliance, we can finance the air conditioning end of it as well. So we would like to help you out with AC, but we are the gas company. So we wanna look at a gas appliance for savings to justify the loan for the air conditioning. So, you know, we are kind of holding you to one of the gas measures. Um, all right. Well, that, that all seems um, very reasonable. You know, one problem that I notice, uh, not only in, in my home, but when you go visit people and the air conditioning is on and it's cooler here, it's warmer there. It never feel it, it doesn't always feel like a consistent temperature throughout different rooms are different. So that must be a common issue. That is, it's, it's one of the biggest complaints when I go to people's homes is that uneven temperature, uneven the room, temperature, room feels cooler yeah. than another. And yeah. a large part of that is drafts. So if we have open holes and you don't necessarily see the open holes, but where we start construction of a home, we have pieces of wood that kind of lock together, but don't truly lock. There's a small separation between those pieces of wood and we get draft or airflow through there. So if we walk down in our crawl space or maybe even our basement or whatever, and we start to see the cobwebs, we have drafts. Those little spiders know where to set up their webs because they have air infiltration coming in. Yeah. So I like to say spiders are our friends, but not everybody agrees with me on that point. Oh, and I'd be one of those. <laughs> but they definitely point out where our drafts are. So if we can slow down the drafts that come in at the lower section, we will reduce how many of those drafts go out of the higher ceilings. So as we start to slow down the draft from the upper and the lower, we start to get more even temperature where we don't get that major fluctuation. The right. bigger the draft, the faster we get that separation in temperature from floor to floor. So we wanna to try to reduce the draft. Also insulation plays a big factor. If the sun's beating down on your roof, your ceilings are gonna be hot and your floors are gonna be cooler. You know, So we wanna keep the airflow moving as best we can, we want to try to insulate the home, but the drafts are probably the largest impact to your utility bills. So it's not necessarily about your air conditioning unit per se. It's not about buying new windows necessarily. It's you're, you're really looking at um, stuff that might not be obvious to the naked eye, but you know, the, the drafts. Yeah. And that, I think that's why it's really worth it to get that home audit because you're going to find things that the homeowner probably never even took notice of. Yeah. And, and with our, with our financing, we have the ability for 0% financing on your heating yes. system, your cooling system, your water yes. heater. Um, we, we look at also additional rebates incentives that you can get on top of that. So there's some nice rebates going on top of that. If you had to replace your system, you know, there's alternatives rather than digging deep into your pocket to try to pay for that. We're going to give you 0% financing, okay? The, the other things we want to try to encourage is the attic insulation, the air sealing. Um, those are also 0% loans. So we can try to get that taken care of through one of the contractors inside the state program and finance that. So you're not looking at, you know, again, digging deep into your pocket right. to try to right. justify the cost. And maybe that's what makes it scary for a lot of people. Uh, they think they're going to have to dig very deep. 
And obviously that's not necessarily the case, but I think it just really comes down to one word and that word is comfort. Don't you wanna be comfortable in your own home? And if you're not comfortable in the winter and the summer all throughout the year, then maybe a $49 energy uh, home energy audit would really uh, get you on the path to comfort. So yeah, that $49 to me, it's, it's the best money you'll probably ever spend it, on your home. It feels really worth it to me. Um, We're there probably an hour and a half, give or take. Um, lower door adds a little bit of time to that. You know, with that energy savings kit, you get the full report back from us. So it shows you every single piece, all the recommendations. It gives you all the data inputs. And it also gives you a score from the Department of Energy, ranking your house in energy use from to compared to all the other homes that are already inside that scoring tool. So it gives you some different information. You know, it, from what we're saying, there's also a Department of Energy score. So that's helpful. Right. And, you know, once again, everyone out there, you can just go ahead, call the number on the screen and tell them what your, your needs are. They will direct you to whatever you need within New Jersey Natural Gas. They'll take good care of you. And of course, a big shout out to New Jersey Natural Gas from SCAN, because you have been a supporter for 33 years from the very beginning of SCAN. So I, it's, I, and I just think it's a toast to New Jersey Natural Gas because that's a long time to support somebody, right? So yeah, we're here to help. You know, we're here to yeah. try to make it easier, you know, for our customers to, you know, live their lives, be more comfortable. So give us a call. Well, that's, We'd like what to it, that's what it's about. And if you need any kind of energy assistance whatsoever, as well, you can just call that number too, correct? Yeah, the phone number, the yeah. the phone number for our 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 Save Green Department will take them through the path of if they have questions. The direct people there should be able to answer. And if not, they can get them to the right party to get the straight direct answer. So there's no, you know, I'm not sure of the answer. Answer. We want to know what the actual answer is. You know, if there's one thing that you could just say to people, you know, as, as we kind of wrap this up today, that they could just go home, go with their home. I'm sure they're home right now. They're listening from home. But if you're home, and you're listening to our conversation, what would be one thing that somebody could do right now to make their home a little bit more efficient? Something so we, we, tr we try to say, if it's air conditioning season, we wanna close the blinds, close the curtains, reduce the drafts, um, you know, anything you could do to, to let the sun less in and let the airflow less in, that's great. But I personally love looking out my windows. so. It's tough for me to say I'm going to close all my blinds. I'm going to close all my windows. Um, but that air leak part of it, that's paramount. If, if I can go around and even put something as simple as a foam gasket behind an outlet switch or a right. plate cover for an outlet, right. you know, that's a small leak, very small. But when I add up 40 or 50 of those around the house, now I'm starting to do a little bit of a difference in my home. Um, and those are measures that a homeowner can do on their own. They're not you know, it's, it's a simple flat blade screwdriver. You know, you take the cover off, you put it on, you put the cover back on. But those are, those are easier measures that can help a customer. All right. And you know what? That's something you can do right now in, uh, in your own home. Yeah. And what about reminding people to change your air conditioning filter to have a new yeah. one for the season, right? Yeah. So, so the, the filter is beneficial for two things. So first of all, everybody wants to breathe well. They want to Make sure they don't have all that crazy stuff in their lungs. So the filter does a great thing of filtering the air. But the filter also protects your equipment. So we don't want all that dust and dirt and dander right. being gummed up on your air conditioning system. We want to truly have it a clean system so the airflow is running as good as it can. So that filter change is paramount. And, and smaller, inefficient filters, we're looking at every 30 days. If we're looking at large media filters, we can go up to six months. But if you have, and I, and I see this a lot, I get to a homeowner's house and the first words out of their mouth is, I have a filter. And if I hear that, I know there's never been a filter change for years. So yeah. that's one of the big things. If you haven't changed the filter, or you're not sure, please get someone to your house to at least change a filter. Oh my God, change that filter right now. That's, that's terrible. But it's, it's right up there with the vacuum cleaner. Oh, there's a bag in the vacuum cleaner. I have to change it. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Yeah, terrible. Well, Tim, thank you so much for all your excellent advice. I appreciate. 
And I think, uh, remember everyone out there, there, call that number on the screen for your home energy audit or any questions you might have whatsoever about energy efficiency for winter, summer, all through the year. The goal is to be nice and comfortable in your own home, all right? So again, uh, Tim Dohler, New Jersey Natural Gas, thank you very much. Thank you, have a great day. Remember, if it's important to you, it's important to us. I'm Andrea Tarr. We'll see you next time on Scan FYI. Bye, everyone. Bye, Tim. Bye.